Hey folks, how's it going? <laughs> Anyways, just having a little bit of fun there with the old eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Anyways, today's video. What is it about? Well, it's just a bit of humor. That's it. Just simple humor. Um, a little idea came into my head and I said, I'm going to do that. And uh, so I sat down. Oh, by the way, it's not a painting. Today is, uh, I used the old markers and uh, just had a bit of fun with it. And I think I'm going to keep uh, doing little things like that. But uh, there's always something to do, so I'm always doing something. So, I'm a little, uh, in a good mood today, very happy mood today. And that, so I don't know why, just, uh, you know, the sun's out. Uh, I have a pulse, yeah, everything's good. Yeah. Anyways, uh, back to the video. Uh, so, uh, this is, uh, like I said, just a little bit of humor, and uh, I, I wanted to show you um, a way of doing it so that if you decide to do something like this, um, it kind of eliminates a little bit of a problem sometimes, or a little extra work. That's it. So, sit back, watch the video. Uh, oh, uh, like, okay, bell, bing, 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 and subscribe. All right, so sit back, watch the video, and enjoy. Okay, here we go. So. Uh, to start off, I'm not going to do a painting today. I am going to be doing marker work. So you can tell already that I've tested out the marker on my finger. So let's get started. Now, equipment wise, pretty simple and pretty straightforward. I got my markers. Uh, I think I have uh, a pencil there. I have a sharpener there too. All right. And then the rest is a matter of just getting it started. So, we are ready to get started. So I'm gonna start with the uh, pencil first. And, uh, basically, I'm going to sketch out my idea. Uh, so I'm just gonna form some basic shapes so that I can kind of follow along. And that, uh, yeah, I gotta make a few adjustments here because I have an idea of how I want this to look. And uh, so I just want to get my proportions down correct and that and I can already tell that I'm doing a few things that I don't want to do but that's okay because you just have to that's why you're doing it you know preliminary sketching or uh, not a preliminary sketch but just uh, shaping it out I think I could have dropped down yeah I should have gone down to about here yeah so this part right which makes no sense to you makes a lot of sense to me because I needed to make sure that certain little things happen in the drawing and that and uh, yeah okay got it and then direction is kind of really what it gets down to I want to make sure I don't want to look crammed either I don't, I don't like it when it looks crammed so anyways I'm working away here and I've got kind of what I want and uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep playing with that. So we'll put you on the on the fast thing, so you don't have to sit here and get bored. And uh, yeah, I think uh, well, maybe I'll just keep talking for a minute. So I have my clue as to what I want, and I have this look. And so I'm just gonna keep working on that, so that it gives me exactly kind of what I want. Now, I'm thinking about something now totally different, so I'm going to stop here for a second. sketch um, I've done the pencil part I've done all that now I know sometimes you like I want to do this with a lot of uh, etching a lot of you know little details and stuff like that uh, first thing is I'm going to shrink it down a little bit because I, uh, I, I want it to be more squared right into the middle of what I'm going to be doing uh, then the other thing too is I'm going to do something that uh, I've done before and that is to actually have 
uh, uh, use tracing paper and then do the work on the tracing paper so that when it gets printed again, it comes out really crisp and clear. And you can actually sit on top of the work that you're doing and then just keep working on it and that and see where you're at and you know be happy with yourself. But the thing is that when you do it on the tracing paper and you go to put it on to uh, print, it'll just come out nice and crisp and that. So that way you don't have to have your pencil lines underneath and stuff like that. You can do that without having to worry about your pencil lines. And that. So it's kind of a, an interesting way of doing it. And uh, once you see it done, you'll be like, oh, wow, that's really cool. Let's, uh, I can do that. I can do it like that. So I've got her nice and grumpy. I don't know, her, him, whatever, but it's a hippo that's driving a car and he's not happy or she's not happy or they're not happy, whatever. The hippo is not happy. All right guys, so what I did here was I uh, reduced it by 90%, uh, not 90%, by 10%. And then what I'm, I've done is I've got my piece of paper here, then I've got my tracing paper here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut off the excess paper. Then I can line it into underneath the paper and then start working. And, that. and then it should be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So now you can see that I have actually placed uh, the piece underneath. I cut off the excess paper just because that way I thought if I need to adjust it or move it around, I can figure that out. And uh, I basically got it where I want. I think I'm going to bring it down just actually a fraction more. Now I'm looking at it. And then any lettering in that will be up here at the top. And that. So I think that's it. Now it's just a matter of... Uh, Filling it in with uh, the technique. Actually, one more thing. I actually reduced it one more time simply because um, I found that I was actually covering a lot of space and you don't really need to do that. Especially when you're cross hatching, uh, if your image can be a little tighter, that's even better because that helps you in not having to cover as much space. So that's basically what I did was I just reduced that aspect of it. So now we're on to actually getting it done. <laughs> hippo the crazy angry car driving hippo yeah see the thing is uh, you probably had somebody like that behind you and hopefully it's not you but uh, you know there are those people and uh, in the kingdom of the animals uh, I would think that the hippo would be one that would be just a furious driver you know because uh, they say oh you know what I keep doing this thing where I scratch the paint that's on the table here and then it gets on the video and it's not good so I'm sorry I'll stop I'll stop so, as I said, you know, you've got this uh, crazy mad hippo. Um, I also uh, looked up some European cars because I thought that, you know, a hippo should be driving a European car for some reason. I don't know why, right? And, you know, he'd be like, you know, ah, get out of my way. No, he wouldn't be like that. A hippo would be more uh, aggressive, you know. Get out of my way. I'm a hippo. That, that would be a hippo, yes. And uh, so, like I said, uh, what I did was I did it on tracing paper. So that when you go to photocopy it, um, you don't have to worry, you know, about lines uh, and that. So it shows up pretty crisp. I like that. Um, and here's a good example of that, right? And you, you can even see, like, the little shading of the uh, background and stuff like that. But you can see how it, it's nice and clean. Um, and like I said, the uh, other thing, too, is that uh, you can draw your rough sketch and then just work right on top and you don't have to sit there and erase stuff, right? So you kind of eliminated that little bit of a problem. Um, and as I said, uh, my old hippo here, right? You know, he's just in a rage, right? 
You know, he is just not happy. There's spit flying out of his mouth, right? I like I like the little car. I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm really happy with myself about the little car because it was in my head that, you know, he'd just be driving it. Get out of my way, you monkeys. Yeah, monkeys, of course he'd be saying that, right? You know, and then, that would be his car, right? You know, and then, you know, and he just, you know. See, that's what I, I think these things in my mind, they happen. They just crawl in there and they go, So, that's my day for today. I hope that uh, you're having a great day. And, um, as I've always said, be cool, like a big bull moose, and wear your pants.